It's one of the cool, unique projects out there that I've done. Every project is unique, but some of them really stand out. Biodome was definitely, uh, definitely makes you say I love my job. Talk to you about that biodome project that you did. Oh yeah, the one that was up along on the uh, Delaware River up there. Yeah, yeah, that project probably was about probably about five, four or five years ago actually. The homeowners Nisha and Jack uh, built it, and what it is is an insulated dome. What we built there was the rec pond, but the biodome is pretty much like a insulated, kind of like a greenhouse. The way they have it set up uses different kinds of uh, geo heating through geothermal in the ground. We also had to put a lot of insulation inside there. And the way the dome faces with the sun and everything like that. I'm not a biodome expert, so I mean, right. probably could check out Google on that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> One of the reasons uh, they wanted the biodome there was uh, they teach at a Montessori school up there. Actually, the owner, Thomas Smith's daughters, actually attended school there uh, when Nisha and Jack's father was teaching there. They wanted a place for the kids to be able to go and learn different things and have a nice thing in, even in the winter time. And then they also wanted a place for them to be able to swim uh, year round and also grow vegetables. Um, they love to grow their own vegetables uh, and this will allow them to grow them through the colder months um, and then in the warmer months they're able to even grow some tropical stuff in there. She have like tropical mangoes in there and uh, bananas and stuff like that. The rec pond that we built in there, um, it was really neat because we actually had to build it before the dome went in place. When we got there it was kind of like a blank slate in the ground. Jack actually had a mark out where every spot of the dome was going to be. We had to know the angle of the dome because there was like the knee wall down below and then the dome goes on top of that. The pond really was dictated by the size of the dome and we needed to do planting areas and pond wound up, I, I would say somewhere around like a 14 by 18, uh, roughly about, I would say it's almost, believe it or not, almost four foot deep. One thing that's really neat is there's a grotto area and then also the pond that we built there has a hot tub area. That's where the hot water comes into the pond. That hot water is being made naturally by an outdoor furnace that they have located outside of the, the, the biodome. A lot of stuff's going on with that pond. It's kind of a, a one of a kind thing, but uh, you know, it's always able to be done again. So that's what I mean, that's neat. What do you have to do differently when building a water feature like that, when you're planning on having an enclosed space like that with like the curved wall and having to build like up building the uh, waterfall? Like what kind of challenges were there with that? Just picking the perfect rock, you know, taking measurements and seeing where the rock was going to sit down in the water and how tall the rock was going to come. Like when we were digging the pond, we had to kept placing the biofall and because that's what the waterfall filter is, is an aquascape biofall in there. So we had to place that and make sure we had enough room and uh, really Jack was the one that knew where the curve was behind there. But one of the real main challenges of that pond, building it inside the dome, was the fact that everything had to be over dug. We had to over dig areas that were, you know, almost about six inches extra just to put foam in. And the foam was to be in the ground to keep the insulation inside the dome. So there was uh, certain sides of the ground that needed to be, depending on which way the sun was facing. Uh, once again, Jack, the homeowner, knew all this information about that. And we had to actually over dig the pond in areas and place styrofoam inside and then the liner. So when we had to dig the pond to get the like water 12 inches deep, we'd have to have to dig 18 inches because that six inches of styrofoam would take up that space of the earth. You know, so we actually had to over dig areas, like I said before, and that was a real challenge of putting the pond inside the dome. So we built the pond, then the afterwards they built the dome. Was that when we went with Greg, was that the first time that you actually went in there once the dome was finished? That was the first time that I got to see it, and it was it was pretty amazing. Uh, walking in the door and just seeing uh, all the tropical plants growing all over the place uh, kind of reminded me of my favorite place in the world, which is Costa Rica. If anybody knows me, I love going there, and you felt like you were walking into the jungle, hearing the sounds of the waterfall, and then you know, having a nice warm pond to be able to swim in. It was a really, really neat thing. I mean, who has bananas and mangoes in New York State? What I'm really curious about is what's maintenance like, especially like in the winter, like do things really change? Do you just treat it like it's summer all year long? Like, do you know how they go about the maintenance and how it's different from like an outdoor pond? Well, they're very hands-on, so they take care of a lot of the maintenance on that. I know that uh, right before we got there, uh, when I first saw it, 
Jack was in there like pruning the trees because it's like a jungle. I mean, it gets hot and everything starts going crazy. So um, kind of, it, it pretty much just goes wild in there as far as plant growth and they're constantly cutting it back. Uh, more like a tropical climate. Um, as far as the pond, because they maintain that so well and it isn't a dome, they pretty much just do bacteria in the pond. I believe it was right after Greg was there, Greg the pond guy, we went there and cleaned it for the first time in, in four or five years, whatever, since we built it. So. so altogether, were you proud of that project? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, it's one of the cool, unique projects out there that I've done. Every project is unique, but some of them really stand out. Biodome was definitely, uh, definitely makes you say, I love my job. You know, I love what I do every day. Yes, I would say I'm super proud of it and uh, super proud of the team that I had there. So, If you like watching the video on this Biodome project, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. It means a lot to me and my team. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for a new video.